Here's the Battle of Bunker Hill. Here. That's Peter Salem. He was actually the hero. He saved scores of American lives that African American, helping row the boat across. Prince Whipple. He fought alongside Washington during the Revolution. Uh, Marquis uh, de Lafayette. This guy may have won the Revolutionary War. James Armistead was his name. Double spy. Basically, the Brits thought that he was spying for them, but he was spying for General Washington. He'd give the Brits bad intel and reveal the good critical information to General Washington. When did America have its first African-American judge? 1768. Wentworth Cheswell, New Hampshire, elected to office in New Hampshire. He was re-elected for the next 49 years, held eight different political positions. As we all know that Paul Revere made his midnight ride, we also know he wasn't the only guy riding that night. Mm -hmm. Another guy riding went with Chesel. 1980s, the professors got together and said, oh, no, that's not Peter Salem. Um, we think that that's Grosvenor's slave. Come the guy who painted it, and the guy who was there, and the guy who saw it and painted what he saw had him as Peter Salem. In a speech entitled, Our Composite Nationality, Frederick Douglass said, I know of no rights of color superior to the rights of humanity. He thought the worst thing that could happen for blacks after the Civil War was to treat them as exceptions in the law. And so today, with the discursive logjam that we have over things like affirmative action and group rights, and the only thing that you get from government is if you ally with others who look like you. Or This guy right here, this is Lemuel Haynes. Lemuel Haynes is uh, a soldier in the American Revolution. He's a black minister in a white church in four different states. He was ordained in the Congregational Denomination in 1785. He's the first black to receive a master's degree in America. He got that in 1804 from Middlebury College. This is Benjamin Banneker, a brilliant scientist in American history. He taught himself how to read. He taught himself of science. He wrote an almanac that 10 years ahead, he was able to predict to the minute, solar eclipses, lunar eclipses, 10 years before they happened. He once took the back off a pocket watch, saw how it worked, went home and carved a wooden clock with all the gears mainspring, and it was accurate to within one minute a year. He's the guy who laid out Washington, D.C., the survey. Jefferson gave him his example to France, said, hey, you guys in France think that blacks are inferior? Here's Benjamin Banneker. Okay, 1789. Joseph Hayne Rainey of South Carolina is first black to preside over the House of Representatives. Uh, these are the first seven blacks elected to Congress. You have here Senator Hiram Rhodes Revels, the first black U.S. Senator elected. He was a minister of the gospel. He was a missionary. He worked with Frederick Douglass. He recruited three regiments of black soldiers in, in the uh, Civil War, and he was a missionary to slaves in the South. Uh, you have here Benjamin Turner, uh, Josiah Wall. Robert Brown Elliott is probably the most brilliant guy of that era. He actually took on the vice president of the Confederate Confederacy in a debate on the floor and just tore his head off. The, half of these guys were slaves, and five years later, they're sitting in Congress. Richard Allen Wait. had been in slavery, and he held no bitterness at all. He says, God would not allow bitterness even in Joseph when he was in prison.